Okay, so here I am right next to the house. And this spot here is going to be the new antenna spot for that uh, five bander up on top. You know, I experimented. I tried it up there without the ground radials and it don't work for jack. So I am going to make a clearing right here. I'm going to cut this big one up and I'm going to bring the excavator in and I'm going to make a clearing here so that this antenna will be sitting in the center of that clearing. I mean, it's not totally ideal surrounded by trees, but I'm not going to put it out in the lawn. This capper will string me up. And I see them used in cities all the time where there's houses, which is more of a block than trees. So step one, start clearing this area out right here. Okay, so I'm getting ready to do a little clearing behind the house and I'm switching from the three foot bucket uh, to the two footer. It just works better for clearing trees and digging roots and stuff like that. Okay, so this was one of the very few nice days we've had lately and uh, my friend Curtis from Heartland Deer Management came over and gave me a hand with some hinge cutting while I was on the excavator so it worked out pretty well.
radio clearing. This is a honey locust. Look at these thorns. And they are very hard and very sharp. So instead of trying to dig this out, these are really hard to dig out. I'm gonna just slice it at the bottom and push it over and out of the way over here and continue on making the clearing. These things are just nasty though, man. So I found when I have spots like this where I have a stump there, I'll just fill around them and over the top of them with dirt and plant a lawn right over the top of them and just keep mowing any shoots that come up and that is kind of the quicker and easier way of working around a stump. Grass lawn here so we can keep it mowed. This is exciting man. You know, Finally getting some nice weather. I could just only imagine the kind of progress we could make if we, you know, had some normal weather these last few years. And I'm going in for my surgery here in uh, just a couple days. So I'm hoping we can get this uh, antenna set up tomorrow. Iron Mike's supposed to come over and give me a hand. So here we are, February 6th. Uh, my surgery's tomorrow. <sighs> Remember that day? You might not have even seen this project yet, but I'm making a clearing for the new antenna. And I called it in just a little early so me and Mrs. Capper could chill out for a minute, but obviously that kind of bit us in the rear end. Now we've been getting rain ever since and I don't dare pull that machine out right now. This is a stubborn one here. And we're gonna lower the tower and we're gonna set it up on a steel cable, which I was supposed to do the first time, but I forgot. We're gonna set it up on a steel cable so that I can raise it and lower it. Any day of the week, any time that I want to make antenna changes for that. So that's the goal. Make a little progress. You can see the lawn now there on the house where uh, this was that big, uh, this was a giant tree we cut up last year. Won't be a whole much longer now until I get this. I can just braid it down and be ready for Iron Mike tomorrow. Got one of them vines that's been hanging up on me, getting tangled up in the excavator. Right there. Now this thing here was stubborn, man. I had to work to get it out. Plus I got all this junk wood laying here. I mean, right where I'm sitting now was the old pile of junk wood that we bulldozed in and we pushed in here right next to the house. So basically this antenna clearing is also going to push the, the junk. 
junk and stuff a little farther back into the woods. There we go. So even though there's going to be a new antenna, it actually will probably look better from the house. I'm standing this was all slash pile an hour ago so now I'm working on basically pushing it all back I want to take a few more trees out the goal is to have some airspace for your antenna and also it's going to be nice to grade this and have a lawn in here around the antenna so it looks halfway decent anyways so I'll probably take that slash pile there and shove it all into just one pile so you'll be able to see the woods all this way when before this was all slash from that pile all the way over to there was all slash so i'll actually do two things and make a antenna pad and 
actually get less slash piles if that's making sense. So we'll check back in. just another set of ruined tracks here in the lawn so it's gonna sit there for a while till I can climb in it or till I can get someone else to climb in it and show them how to drive it out 